If you have devices on your local area network that are being discovered or controlled using multicast packets, that is using the multicast address space, then you will need to forward multicast packets between the different segments and create multicast policies. So let's do that. All right, so let's look at a simple and basic configuration of the different components that are needed to uh, allow multicast packets to flow between the different segments. So we have two segments. We have the LAN network and we have a management network. Now the Apple TV or any other device that is uh, used and sends multicast packets is in the LAN interface. And here at the management, we have a user that uses an iPad or an iPhone to control that Apple TV and of course to discover it. So the very first thing that we will do, we will create uh, policies, firewall policies for the unicast traffic. So let's move to um, policies and objects and let's create the first policy land to uh, management. All right, and the incoming interface is our land, the outgoing is our management. Um, we will not be granular, we will use all, we will be more granular when we create the multicast policy. Now you can of course enable any UTM that you need. All right. Now let's create the second policy, management to LAN, and again, let's just do that. All right. All right, so we have uh, firewall policies between the different segments uh, static route is already configured there's also a policy for the uh, towards the WAN interface but now we need to forward multicast packets between these segments so we will have to uh, enable multicast forwarding to do so we will move to the command line config system settings and let's set the multicast forward to enable. That will promise that the multicast um, packets will flow between the different segments. But that's not all. You have to create the multicast policies to allow them. Now, there are other settings that you can set on your, um, on your multicast um, traffic, such as the time to live and so on but that's a more advanced topic that is not needed uh, at least in the case of the apple products all right now you will have to move to system feature visibility and enable the multicast policies so let's just enable multicast policies apply them now, once we do so, you can move to policy and object addresses, and you will see that you have a new group of service addresses uh, that are dedicated to multicast, such as Bonjour, which is the protocol that Apple is using. So you can see the addresses here. We will use it as the uh, destination address. So now let's move again to policy and objects, multicast policies, and we need to create two multicast policies. The first one, the LAN to WAN, sorry, the LAN to management. The incoming interface is our LAN, the outgoing interface is our management. The source address, now, we can create a source address for the Apple TV device, or uh, any device that uses multicast but for now we will only use the all but remember that you can be much more granular and create an address object the destination 
address is bonjour that's the protocol that apple is being is using uh we do not need to enable asnet we will not choose um udp or any specific let's just choose any and that's for the first multicast policy the second multicast policy is management to LAN. Incoming is the management. Outgoing is the LAN. Source address is all. Destination address again is bonjour. And that's about it. That's the way that you enable multicast forwarding, multicast routing between different segments. Remember, you have to enable it using the command line and you have to create the multicast policies.